No one's giving you more than your mom. Let's get in and meet So let's mom. get on in. We're going to go meet mom and we're going to start getting some food prepared. Um, we're going to so, make meatballs, Wally. Yeah. I heard that. Squeeze it. Your hands are clean, oh. right, Mike? Yes, ma, I wash okay. my hands. Right. Every mother deserves her 15 minutes of fame. Cooking with Mom is a new half-hour unscripted reality show set in the kitchen of your favorite celebrity's mothers. Each week, the mom of a celebrity will invite us into her home and give us the inside scoop about their son or daughter like only a mother can. We'll also be treated to never-before-seen home videos and photos before going on to make their child's favorite home-cooked dish. For instance, wife Danner might prepare her daughter Gwyneth Paltrow's childhood fave, breaded flounder with macaroni and cheese. Maybe socialite Kim Kardashian's mom, Chris will cook her daughter's most loved Armenian breakfast, a fried pancake called Bishi. And the bad boy of magic, Chris Angel's mother, Demetria Sarantakos, could show us her son's favorite meal, pasticcio, a delicious Greek lasagna. I love you, honey. I love you more. In addition to learning a favorite dish, you are invited into the home where viewers will get an inside scoop on their favorite celebrity. Who better knows a son or daughter than their mother? I think I've influenced Cammie by showing her that you can be a lady in spite of what you're doing. And since their mom will be cooking, you never know who might just stop by to help or even learn with us. Remember all those years in the kitchen? And I dragged you unwillingly? Today's the day. As they narrate the prep and the steps, each mom will tell classic stories from their kid's childhood as only a mother can. It could be funny, heartfelt, embarrassing, or even all three. And it's a great way to get a new perspective on some of the biggest names in showbiz. She always says she can't wait for the end of the football season when I can come back and sit on the counter in the kitchen and, and just talk to her about whatever. She raised you, took care of you, and taught you about the world. The most important thing my mother tried to teach me was to be a leader and not follow, and just follow my dreams. And she cooked, and cooked, and cooked. Isn't it about time we gave mom props for all the things she did to help us grow up? Thank you for making me honest. Thank you for raising me to be the fine, sexy young man that I am. You're definitely one of my best friends. I love you, Mom. So fire up the grill, preheat the oven, and chop the vegetables, because Mom's going to be stirring the pot on Cooking with Mom. First, I mean, we bring a car in and we strip out all the glass and the chrome, hot metal. <laughs> then we will reinforce the inside of the car around the driver. We'll, we'll put a different motor and drivetrain in the car and we'll just see whose car can last the longest. That's what Demolition Derby is all about. Well, it ain't for the money. <laughs> Gives me a reason to come back and spend time with my brothers and smash people and see the fear in their eye when they see you coming. That's the best part. The one thing that sets our family apart from all families is that we have 17 kids. It's not normal, you know, for, the, for a family to have that many kids. One, two, three! All the brothers are coming in, and we're building our cars and getting ready for the race. Hey, howdy ho! What's up, Seth Rowe? Corey is the second from the bottom. He's number 16. What's up, Seth? Hi. He lives in El Paso, Texas. He's a naval recruiter. Hi. Hey, bro. What's up, goatee, bro? What's up, bro? There's not a lot of room for shyness in our family. You either spoke up or you didn't get what you were asking for. Tori's the instigator on everything. You really want to go to a knockout, dragout fight, hey, Tori, any place. He'll start it. Did you, like, yell at him and stuff? No. <laughs> I, I hit him harder. I hit him harder. Tori's the chief in the Navy. When he speaks, people listen. And if they don't listen, he just talks louder. If I don't get him to throw a punch at me Friday night, then you haven't done I, your I job. failed, so you watch. Russ is number four. He's my big brother. We call him the crew chief just because he's got the big garage. Oh, I got that off already. Pat works for a pharmacist in Kentucky. So we call him the drug dealer in the family. Derbing for me 
It is brother time. It really is. So that's all we got to do is get a starter in it. Ryan is the baby of the family. He's kid number 17. Ryan is the quiet, intense one. Huh? <laughs> Vicky is my firstborn daughter. Oh, don't talk to me about hitting hammers. I call her very street smart. Vicky, she's our little derby girl. She'll get out there and battle it with the guys. But Vicky doesn't stand a chance in hell of winning. Well, I think Vicky has a lot to prove to her uncles. They've always called her a prissy little girl and that sort of thing. She wants to show them that she don't play with Barbies. She'll get out there and play with a Chevy. Girl. Oh, my girl. Girl. oh my god. What are you gonna do? Sleep till noon. Huh? Sleep till noon. <laughs> you suck. <stop. laughs> okay, that's fine. We got work to do. I'm nervous for Vicky and how she'll do. I want her to do well. Yeah, I don't want her to get hurt. There's some demolition coming for you, boy! My goodness! What a devastating hit by Tori Shooty! And that's it! Crazy count number 788! The last remaining win is out! Tori's lighting up on Cal again! The Tori no Cal already broke his stick! And there's your winner, card number 17, Ryan Shooty. What an amazing finish. This is what demolition juries are all about. The Stanley Cup is ours. <laughs> your winner. Yeah. Oh, you're right, man. Oh, Holy toy. Wow. That's a lot of dust in the lemon here. <laughs> you're the man, though. Wow. Yeah. That's a big trophy. Wow. Shooty Racing Team is number one. Comedy is really tough in Mexico because uh, there ain't a hell of a lot to laugh about here. Without further ado, let me introduce Paul Rodriguez. Yo les recomiendo a ustedes que si ustedes les gusta el sexo, no se casen. But what's wrong, honey? You didn't call me in two days. Well, see, man, we understand that, like, what's wrong with you? I just called you two days ago. Yeah, hey, they were all right, they were all right. They were... Hey, all right. Paul! What? Where are you? Hold on, Jamie. Paul, Jamie. Hold on. You, Jamie, I who? Masada, it's an emergency. Oh, you're talk, kidding. Talk, talk. Everything's an emergency. Hey, what's happening? Tony! I could get on my knees and cry right now. I need help. You've always been there for me. What are you panicking for? You know that club I told you about Long Beach? Man, I'm in Mexico. Oh my God. You're crazy, Jamie. What do I know about running a club? Isn't there somebody more qualified? I don't want to be responsible for all the people's money. The club is almost finished. It doesn't need that much work to be done in the club. All you need to go out there to look at a couple of the stuff and see what's going on. What am I, Polly Shore? No, 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 no. Get, get the John Levitt. It's got to be somebody more qualified. I never told you this, but I don't got no high school diploma. Please catch the first plane you can. All right, okay. Okay, Morgan, make reservations. I gotta catch a plane. What? Yeah, he wants me to go back and run some kind of. Does he know where you're at? Just let's pack. We're out of here. Hey, 
Are you sure this is the place, Morgan? Y yeah. Navigation said so. I don't think we're in the right place. Hello? I hear some noise over here. I'm doing it for Jamie. I'm not doing but it for me. where is Jamie? That's Jamie's in New York. He called me and told me I to get don't... down here. You're the only one working, huh? Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, ¿Quién está? ¿Quién está encargado de aquí de todo? Hello, Brian. I'm Paul. Paul? Yeah. Brian. My job on this project is to be the overseer to make sure all the subcontractors are doing their do the work and coordinate with uh, all the people that Jamie is bringing in. What are you guys here for? Well, uh, well, I'm uh, uh, Jamie, the, the owner, and I, I'm partners in this club, and uh, he told me to told me to come down here and, and see what's what's going on. What, what's going on? You know, I I don't know much about construction, but but this ain't gonna be ready in no 30 days, huh? It'll be ready in 30 days. You know, it's not gonna happen like that. Brent, as a general contractor, he runs around with his head cut off. Doesn't he? Don't know what's going on from one day to the next. We need more people, man. I, I don't know how long these lunches are. Brent. Look, dude, I'm gonna get you some help. There, there ain't enough people here. I got 30 days. Where can I, where can I get some people right now? Home Depot. You're right, man. Now you're thinking. Give yourself a raise. Yeah, he's Mexican. He can get it done. Okay. Now we're gonna do this really cool. Come on! Let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Hold on, fellas. 